What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Evan King and we're back with another one and I decided to bring the GOAT back um, It's been a while since I watched like a Michael Jackson performance. This is one of the legendary ones This is I believe the 2001 New York tour he was on when he was promoting um, I forgot the name of the album. It's one of the last albums not really crossed my mind, but either way um, for, for those of you guys who don't know Michael Jackson is one of my my biggest influences in life He's one of the all-time all-timers. You think of um, you think of the NFL having Jerry Rice. Uh, you think of basketball having Magic and Will and rest in peace. Who passed away the other day? Bill Russell. Um, Michael is the goat of all musicians. You could put him up there with Elvis Presley, the Beatles, Prince. You name it. Everybody knows Mike. Everybody has a favorite Mike song. I don't care who you are. If you don't have a favorite Mike song, you don't have a pulse. But I just decided to bring this performance back to entertain and enlighten. Let's enjoy and let's enjoy the classics, man. Why not? So we got Michael Jackson and the Jacksons performing one of their greatest performances in a while. Hope you guys enjoy. Now Mike in the astronaut suit. This man knew how to steal a show, bro. This man really knew how to steal a show. There go the bros. I can't even find, I don't remember any of their names. I remember Tito, Jermaine, I think Randy was one. I think this is Randy. Yo, this crowd was going nuts. Yo, I ain't gonna front. <laughs> Look at that fan. Yo, I ain't gonna front, bro. Even when you take it back to the Jackson Fives, bro, Mike really carried the hell out of that group. I know, hey, and I know the people are gonna say that's you shouldn't look at it like that. They all played a part in making the Jackson Five what it was and and the classics. But let's be honest. Did any of the mother brothers know how to sing? I mean, really. <laughs> And his fans, oh my god, bro. Mike's fans were wild, bro. This man knew how to captivate a show. He knew how to captivate an audience. The man knew how to entertain, for real. Like, you're not gonna find too many artists performing today, and I'm, I'm trying not to pause it too much, Cap. You, you're not gonna find too many artists today that can literally play songs in which they performed as, an, as a seven-year-old, eight-year-old and have a group of adults knowing every lyric word for word. Michael really grew up with his fans around that time and his music was just so universal. We still hear it today. And this man's been dead for what, 13 years and we still hear his music everywhere. 
That's wild, man. Well before my time. Oh my god. I wasn't even a thought. Someone tell me when did ABC drop? It had to be in the 70s. Back in the day, we're talking the '60s. These were the tunes, bro. Before he became a solo artist, <laughs> before he abandoned the group. Oh man! That's my shit right here. Talk about an individual capable of controlling the room. I'm talking about this song came out had to have come out in the 60s or 70s and they're just timeless masterpieces i know in like everybody who's watching this video that's singing along that knows these words word for word it, it's almost as if he's performing it right now bro not too many artists could pull off that kind of just control just look at the room just just take a moment to just watch the influence of the room this is a song he performed when he was like nine and he's a grown man, still captivating an entire stadium. It's just, it's magic. crowd bro it's like they're under the crowd looks like they're under hypnosis like they're all in perfect symmetry just just going with whatever michael is doing like it's it's amazing to watch like i don't know if we have any performers that are like that legendary maybe you can say who can you say prince is dead mike is gone like who are the legends still alive like that that could actually control a room like this to this day maybe a couple of rock bands that i don't know of maybe
get a vocals? Come on, bro. Which one of his brothers is doing that? Just legendary. And we all know how much Mike loved attention. Like, he's gonna drag the hell out of this. Hold on. Get up, Mike. There we go. Just kill me. Just kill me. Let's speed this up a little bit. I want you like these are hits before this man hit puberty. These were hits before this man hit puberty. We're not even talking about the solo album, Off the Wall, Thriller. We're not talking about Bad. Like, we're not talking about any of it. We're talking about before Mike was even 10. Like, this shit is just... You want to talk about a catalog? I wonder how much his catalogs go for right now. But you want to talk about a catalog? And this is before our era of social media and things going viral and SoundCloud. And, yeah, like, man... Mike was breaking records before he had the internet, bro. I bet you the whole stadium clapping their hands. <laughs> yeah. Just killed it. Just, just, just obliterated it. Like, just absolutely goaded watching this man perform. Like, it, it, it's, it's so crazy how the legends always go. You know what I mean? Like, it would have been nice to see this man live a long life. Like, it would have been cool to see him get old and grow old and see Mike with gray hair. I think he'd be like 63, 64 today if he was alive, which is still plenty young enough to still be able to do shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know, with that kind of life and you know everything that he had circling around him, it's just, it's just crazy how we like we've lost so many of the greats, well, well ahead of their fucking peaks. Like Mike still had years to go, man. And what could have been? Cause he like I remember like I think he was like still running that last um, he still had that that last tour. He was, he was working on that last tour before he passed away. And you could just tell this man was still full of life and still able to perform and sing. It would have been nice to see that one final masterpiece before you, you know, eventually walked off into the sunset. But Mike was a goat, man. And, you know, despite all the, the controversy that surrounded him before he passed and stuff like that. Listen, I feel like all these artists have a little bit of crazy. I mean, heck, look how many times we forgave Kanye. You know what I'm saying? So, life is just one big joke. Because it's like, why Mike? Why Mike? You know? You know what I'm saying? And it's not like I'm out here wishing death on anybody. Because, you know, that's not, you know, morally the right thing to do. But let's be real now. Man. You know? Why Mike? You know? Yeah, like six brothers. Hey! I'm saying it. You're thinking it. But anyways, appreciate you guys for tuning in and enjoying a moment of just the classics. And just enjoying beautiful music. I'm your boy Evan King, this is Gabos Reacts, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe.
if you enjoyed the show, if you enjoyed the performance, and can't wait to see you guys again. Till then, that man right there says, I'm about out. <laughs>